Good evening everyone, how are you doing today? Kamikatha here once again with more of our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke blind playthrough of Supreme Awesomeness. Yeah, sure, why not? In the last part, we suffered two horrible deaths in the first 10 minutes, and then we went on a violent killing spree, destroying everything that was in our path. So now, we got some new friends here to introduce. The first up is Cool, our Sneasel. Back, quick attack, metal claw, and beat up. Next is our powerful, powerful knight. Like seriously, look at this: 113 attack at level 37. That's insane. Wait a sec. This Pokemon's determination boosts the speeds that each time it flinches. Interesting. Uh, Knight comes with Focus Energy, Iron Defense, Steel Wing, and First Impression. No fighting types moves currently, but eventually I'm planning on having one. Next we got Ultimate, the Shuckle, with Sand Tomb, Bug Bite, Rock Throw, and Rest. Davison evolved in the last episode as a small bonus into uh, Colossus, with now Incinerate, Tar Shot, Rapid Spin, and Smackdown. Tar shot, it lowers a opponent's speed spat and then makes them weaker to fire type moves. So, awesome. We got the lone survivor of the Whipped Cream Massacre, Dandy, with Leaf Tornado, Sing, Hyper Voice, and Sweet Scent. And the last member of our team, the gift that we got when we made a fossil, we got the Frozen One, who is, uh, as a, as, Arctical? Arctical. I don't know, I have a hard time pronouncing that name. With Powder Snow, Thundershock, Ancient Power, and Echoed Voice. And it has Volt Absorb, so that means we're immune to electric moves with this thing. Good to know. So, we're going to be spending the first chunk of this part grinding. We're getting everyone on this team up in a couple of levels. Because the next gym, I do not want to lose anyone, and... I'm fairly weak to fighting type moves as a whole for my team. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to come out here, and the best thing that we found to fight none of this stuff. None of this. Alright, so we gotta reset the area. The best thing that we found to fight are Maractus, who are cactus Pokemon, because they give out the best experience. Just how it goes. So every time we fly to this base camp, we reset the encounters. Theoretically, anyway. Oh, the, shoot, there was a dug tree over there. Okay, so apparently we did not reset the encounters. But this will reset them. If we go out one, two, three bricks, and then turn around, that will reset the encounters. Ooh, a shining one. That will give us actually more experience. Who's leading? Cool is leading, and Cool can beat up a ghost. Wild your mask. Yeah, your masks are ghost type. Cool is a dark type, and so Cool can instantly destroy ghosts. Now see, if I was playing the shield version, the next gym would be a ghost type gym, and I'd have it. I'd have it on look. Lock. Yeah, see? Cool can instantly destroy ghosts. And that will give us some watts, which is nice. There's the Maractus that we need. Practice give us gives us the best experience. That's why we're fighting them. All right, we're 
gonna beat up this m cactus. Goes for Sucker Punch, which is fine. And yeah. We're getting everyone up to. Well, not everyone, but we're going to try and get everyone up to around level 40. And I know that seems like a lot and overkill, and it kind of is, but. We need to get up high. It's the only way we're going to survive the next gym. Because we are woefully under under uh, advantaged. Yeah, look at all that good experience we got there. Even Frozen One, who's 10 levels weaker than us, is still getting a good chunk. It's catching up. You guys gotta level up. Frozen One gotta level up. Nice. Three level ups. Ah, oh, shoot. Do not fight the Marat, or do not fight the Dugtrio. The Dugtrio are the most evil things that you could fight in this whole route if you're doing a Nuzlocke. The Maractus give out good experience, and they're relatively weak. Alright, let's beat up some more cactuses. Cacti. Let's beat them up. Yeah, that sucker punch is always annoying, but it doesn't do too much. I go for beat up because beat up gets them underneath half health, which means I can easily get rid of them with another beat up. Look, grinding up your Pokemon, I understand, is not the most exciting and involved part of the game. But, when you're doing a Nuzlocke, sometimes you gotta do stuff like this. There's another cactus. I was just seeing if it appeared right where we were. Alright, let's beat it up again. Hit six times. Goes for pin missile. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. No! Gosh darn it! What is with this? Stupid root! Darn it! Well, another dead Pokemon for 10 minutes. Oh my word, What this game is absolutely... <laughs> what is with this stupid root? Why is it killing everything? First there's a Clefairy who suddenly gets Drill Run against my Toxel. Then there's the Doug Trio who won't let me escape and get hits a crit slash plus the sandstorm. I lost three Pokemon on this one route. Oh my word, what is with this game kicking my butt so suddenly? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to rock five Pokemon for right now. It's not like anything else I have is going to help against the fighting type gym. What is with this stupid root? Wait. Almost forgot to heal. That would have been bad. How does this keep happening? Uh, 
That is frustrating. I lost another Pokemon within 10 minutes of starting a stream. Why does this keep happening? We're not risking a Doug Trio. We are not risking a Doug Trio. This Doug Trio is the single most annoying thing to fight in this route because it has Arena Trap. And unless you're prepared to fight it. It also springs up out of absolutely anywhere it wants to. Yeah, I can even he There are multiple Doug Trio appearing right now. I'm not dealing with that. So we're going to reset this. Okay, there's Maractus over there. Darn it! I want to be done with this route so I can stop losing Pokemon. But I want to be level 40 so I don't lose Pokemon. It's a weird conundrum, I know. Thanks to first impression, Knight always attacks first, so I'm always going to obliterate every Maractus I see with first impression. I can at least get Knight up to level 40 before I do anything else. Practice. Fly back up to the top, which will reset the spawns. I hear Doug Trio, so nope, not dealing with that. Not dealing with a Doug Trio. I've lost too many Pokemon already. Nope, don't. Not the only Doug Trio. Not. I'm not. If I wasn't doing a Nuzlocke, Doug Trio would be absolutely zero problem whatsoever. But since I'm doing a Nuzlocke, Doug Trios are the scariest thing out there. Ah, no, get off that. Gotta find more cactuses to beat up. Yeah, two Doug Trio in that patch of grass. No way. Okay, that's here, tile. That's the mask. Oh crap! Okay, okay, it's just a Torkoal. Just a Torkoal. Didn't even see that exclamation point appear. But a Torkoal's not, not that bad. I can go into Davison to fight Torkoal. Flamio won't do that much to me. Yeah, see, that's a crit, and that doesn't do much. And thanks to Steam Engine, I'll get a speed boost. 
those drastically. Yeah. Look at that speed boost I got from getting hit by a fire type move. Fight. And we're going to smack down Torkoal. Goes for protect. Yeah, look at that crazy speed boost we got just by getting hit by one fire type move. Clear smog, well, okay. Funny thing, clear smog actually gets rid of all stat changes. <laughs> so, my speed boost is gone. <laughs> Smack it down again, though. Goes for protect. Okay, this Torkoal's annoying. Yeah, smack it down. Alright. Nice chunk of experience for that. Just not as consistent as... Stop it. I keep meaning to hit this town map button so I can fly up there. But Maractus is easily the more consistent thing to fight. Ah, there's one. Because Maractus appear in the overworld and give out decent experience, whereas Torkoal just appears randomly in the grass. Still got decent experience, but I can't consistently go for Torkoal. Whereas Maractus, yeah, I can I can go for Maractus. Go for the next Maractus. Maractuses are easy experience for Knight, and subsequently the rest of my team. Ultimate got a level, Davison got a level. Actually, is Davison weak to grass? I'm actually curious about that. First impression. Let's go. Um, no, no. When I think about it, fire resists grass, but rock is weak to grass. So overall, should be neutral. I guess it might be able to take a miraculous or two. We'll have to want we'll to try. Just there. Oh, there's a Maractus. Alright, let's see how Davison does against Maractus. Oh, and the sunlight is high, so that's good. Goes for Pin Missile. I'll do nothing, unlike to cool. Davison can take down Maractus. Cool. Now I can help. Now I can have Davison catch up and level a little bit. No, no, no. Not fighting Doug Trio with Davison up front. That's actually a big risk now that I think about it. 
But unfortunately, this is the best spot to train right now. Nope, just a couple of your mask. Yes, Maractus. Go for Giga Drain. That does a little bit. That actually does a decent damage. But it's manageable. That's the thing. Another you mask. Alright, this time we're gonna fly back to the Pokemon Center because Davison got a little bit hurt in that. I wish I had another Pokemon who was better against fighting type. But all my Pokemon right now are rock type, weak to fighting. Normal type, weak to fighting. Steel type, weak to fighting. Ice type, weak to fighting. I'm not spending time getting the friendship up on a Badoo. Ugh. I'm not that desperate yet. you. Run at me full force. Oh, there's a glowing item up there. <laughs> Alright, let's fly up to our normal grinding spot. Let's start the grind again. No Maractus. I wonder if there's a spot in the wild area where Maractus appears more naturally. Ooh, another shining one. Again, shining means more experience, stronger power. Three watts. Go for a tar shot. Use this hex on me. Doesn't do that much. Go slow it down. And we can weaker to fire, so incinerate it. Oh, it's just a straight-up weakness to fire. Not just weaker to fire, but it gives it a weakness to fire. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, 252 watts. I'll take it. Eh, no. Not what I was looking for. Come on, Maractus. Just gotta destroy more Maractus. Nope. And down here, not worth it. Anywhere around here, that's 
Sun sunlight, snow, stony area. Well, I do want to go see the di digging duel again, see if we can get another fossil. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, Zigzagoon. Cub Chews, Cub Chews. Alright, let's see what you get. Fair bone. And that's it. Yeah. What do you what can you get me? Leafstone. Bag of stardust. Everstone. Moonstone. Hardstone. Fossilized bird. And just the moonstone is new, so that means... Okay, I thought for a second there I wanted these sets compatible. So I guess that means the fossilized bird, yeah, the bird is what we already had. the experience. Just more Sneasel. Oh, not that. Not fighting the ice cream cone. And nothing really around here that seems worth it. This Pokemon up here. Anything worth fighting? Get some EXP candies. Normal type. Two, only two stars, though. If I go in with Surf Fetched, would I be okay? It's a giant squirrel, I know that much. No, no, I don't have a fighting type move. I need a fighting type move if I'm going to go fight that thing. Best just to stick with the plan, no matter how monotonous it actually becomes. The last thing we want to do is risk losing another party member. Doug Trio, nope. Multiple Doug Trio, nope. Why can't you just give me a steady stream of cactuses to fight? Come on. Now, see, was that so hard? You know, what power does Miraculous even give me? Give me special attack points. <laughs> ah, funny. No Doug Trio. No Doug Trio. Uh, see, the only reason Doug Trios are annoying is because you can't run away from them. Because of Arena Trap, they are annoying. Alright, there's a Maractus right there. Alright, 
incinerate it. Just for sweet scent. That's fine. Okay. Another miraculous down. Wow, I got four levels off of that. One for Davison, one for Stealth Rock. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of Rapid Spin for Stealth Rock. Sounds like fun. Night grew level 39, Dandy grew level 37, Frozen 1 grew level 28, and what's learned? Pluck! Interesting. Well, it's better than that good voice. Now the grass, just in case the Duck Trio spawns. And it's another Maractus. Fight and incinerate. Just for sucker punch. That's decent. Yeah, I see you there, Doug Trio. Up here. Let's go around and try and grab that item real quick before we forget about it. Oh, and it's a new berry day. Rouse. Yeah, I can do more berries than that. Two citrus. Let's go again. Rouse and a citrus, so there's five. Do it one more time. Prism. Yeah, let's quit while we're ahead. Get six berries. Nope, none of them do. Actually, wait. Pokemon. Check summary. You're far away from a level, so I can use I can use a rare candy if I wanted to. I can't see what's in the grass, so I'm not going to risk that. I jumped down a spot where I wasn't supposed to. Nope, just Doug Trio. Just Doug Trio getting out of there. Doug Trio, the destroyer of everything. Come on, down. Down we go. See a mask over there. Another glowing Yamask. What's with all the Yamasks that are glowing? I mean, I'm not, not really complaining, just, you know, a lot of them have been glowing. Guitar shot. Weaker to fire, so now we can incinerate it. If I don't go for Tar Shot, then that speed it won't lose will still keep it faster than me, so I figure, eh, might as well. 
Lower speed anyway. Nope, another you mask. You can call it being over prepared if you want, but I call it not prepared enough. Yeah, ultimate's level 36, our lowest level. Knight is the next. Knight is our best Pokemon right now. Can't really use Frozen one yet. Oh, hey, Maractus is running right towards me. Saves me some trouble. See, Maractus are so friendly. They just they just run right up and, and not need to destroy them. Easy enough. Oh, there's another one over there. And another one right there. So let's keep running into these two Maractus. Maracti. They're just right next to each other. I gotta level up. I'm actually going to be relying on ultimate for the next fight. For the gym leader challenge. Go for synthesis, but it's already at full HP, so awesome! Free attack! It helps that the sunlight is very harsh here, so my fire type moves get powered up. Another Maractus. Be nice if this little chain keeps going. Multiple Maracti in a row. Especially these ones that don't actually hurt me with Sucker Punch or Pin Missile. And yes, nice, nice defense that there, Dave. I saw the Doug Trio. I was out of that grass. I, I see the Maractus. Single best thing for me to fight right now. Incinerate it. There we go. Oh, cool. Frozen one got a level up off of that. Gonna run out of the grass. Okay. Nope. How are you doing, Davison? Eh. We can do one more round of Maractus before we have to fly back to a Pokemon Center. Alright. That's a Yamask. That's an Axew. I, I wish I would have caught anything on this route. Instead of getting destroyed by Doug Trio. Doug Trio is the single worst thing that happened to me on this route. The worst thing is I didn't even catch it. I had to kill it because that was the only safe way to get out of that fight. Oh, there was a Maractus over there on the left.
What I hit? Oh shoot! Okay, we're gonna try something this time. We're gonna try something this time. We're going to slowly and calmly go to our bag. We're gonna throw a polka doll. Oh good, 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 good. Polka dolls work. Okay. Polka dolls work for running away. Against Doug Trio. Training here is very, very dangerous. <sighs> oh, that was dangerous. that noise right, we gotta fly back to a town uh, let's go up to the next town still on side poker dolls sixteen of them for now Treasures, rare bones. Okay, wrestling up. Okay, okay. Everyone's rested up, everyone's fine, everything is fine. What's today's bargain? It's a crackpot. Sure, I'll take it. Three thousand dollars. Next bargain, a binding band. Let me get a binding band. What the heck is a binding band? Binding moves used by the holder to inflict damage equal to one eighth of their. Okay, okay, so it's a, it's something else that I could give to uh, ultimate. Let's see what ultimate currently has. If we go to our Pokemon, it is a grip claw, which extends the number of times multi-hit attacks like Sand Tomb attack for. A binding band increases the damage. Uh, in between turns of those multi-hit attacks. I'd much rather just keep them stuck in the Sand Tomb than doing more damage with the Sand Tomb, if that makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Run past the Doug Trio statues. You know those things were probably placed there as a warning to other Nuzlocking trainers. Just saying, I think it's a warning more than an idol. Route 6, this very small route on the side of a cliff is the single most evil route in the entire game. Ooh, a glowing... Oh, no, no, no. Up, 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 up. I see a glowing helio tile. It's normal electric, which means Dandy can take care of it. Tornado, Volt Switch, that won't do much. Well, it will lower your speed. At 
Leaf Tornado hit lowers your accuracy. And my leftovers kick in. Oh cool, Hyper Voice is 100% accurate. Going for a Hyper Voice. Mostly just wanted Hyper Voice because, you know. And, uh. Well. I mostly wanted Hyper Voice because it's a special type attack. Even though it's not grass type, it still uses my special stat, which is something I very much need on my uh, Dandy, who I just realized I left up front. Oh well. Dandy can hyper voice this thing. I just remember this thing as Pin Missile. Oh, either way, Dandy can hyper voice it. Crit. We're gonna heal ourselves thanks to the leftovers. We're going to go out into ultimate. Get some ultimate experience. Giga drain. That will hurt a little bit. Not too much though. Because Bug and Rock resist. Bug and Rock work together well to make it so that these moves don't do too much. One more Bug Bite to do. There we go. Good job. Who says I can't switch on my Pokemon to fight these things? There's another one. Just keep going with it. Just keep going with it. Incinerate it. Yeah, Giga Dream will hurt a little bit because my special defense is okay. Plus, I'm I'm neutral to Giga Dream. Again, get out of the grass in case the Doug Trio shows up. Another Maractus, good. Just sort of want to keep the Maractus chain going. Incinerate goes for Pin Missile, won't do that much. There we go, get rid of Maractus. There we go, get a level up on Davison. Move out of the grass, just to make sure no more Actus. Or just, not, just to make sure no more Actus. Just to make sure no, uh... No, uh, Doug Trio. That, that's the Pokemon I'm trying to avoid. Incinerate this thing. Night grew to level 40 and wants to learn Brick Break. There we go. That's the move I was waiting for. Brick Break. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Steel Wing for now for Brick Break. But that's the move I was specifically hoping to grab. Oh, cool. Frozen One grew to level 30. Good for you, Frozen One. Let's see if there's more Maractus here for me to fight. 
Nope, Doug Trio. Okay, so let's look at my team. That. Everyone's levels are fairly good. Frozen one, you can... You know, I just realized, I never really looked at any of my cards here. I got B, Randall, Opal, Bidet, Kabu, Nessa, Milo, Leon, Hop. Alright. Let's... It's been a while coming. It's been a very... Very long while coming. Let's do it. Let's heal up. How's my lemonade supply? Not Pokemon. Lemonades. I'm at 19. That should be enough for the fight. I'm just scared to do this challenge. <laughs> but, I think I put it off long enough. Unless you will allow me to go into the forest? Will you allow me in here? Tangle. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. If you allow me to catch stuff here, it's a Pokemon I want. Okay, I can't go here because they're there. The Pokemon up here in that grass. I'm scared to walk in the grass. How this place works. If Pokemon appeared in the grass, that would be helpful. Because that would at least show me that, hey, I could catch a Pokemon there. So, what's up this way? Wait. Max revive? Eh. Up this way. What the? So inside this famous mural, it's said to be a very deep work of art. Interesting. Right, I need to see how this, how these woods handle. Okay, so it's just random in the grass. I'll be honest, anything that's in the grass would be of major, major help to me. I'm gonna put Dandy up front because Dandy can put things to sleep. I mean, I know what I would love to get. Like, legitimately, I know what I would love to get. But if I can catch something in the grass here, if I could have caught something in the grass this whole time... This might actually be worth spending a little bit extra time grinding up, depending on what I catch. Alright, we're going for it. Our capture for Glimwood is... Yes! This is what we need! We need a Sinistee! This is the exact Pokemon we need for this exact moment! Oh my word! Quick Ball, don't fail us now!
Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! We got a Sinistee! Oh my word, yes! This is the exact Pokemon we needed. <laughs> this is this makes me so happy. So so happy. Sinus T, the black tea Pokemon! This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold leftover cup of tea. Give it a nickname? Oh yes we are. Uh you're genderless. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what what's a good name for this? What's a good name for this now? Um What's a T? What what's a fancier T? I need a good name for this. I'm so happy I caught this thing. Yeah, I'll go with a simple name. Earl Grey. Yes, add Earl Grey to the party. I caught a Sinistee. Okay, okay. We can evolve this right away, but do we want to? Do we want to? Let's... We're taking a look. Should have a uh, Pokemon. It's level 34 as well, so it's actually not too bad. Check summary. Has weak armor. Lowers its defense, but raises its speed a lot. Special attack bonus. Hoo hoo. Mega Drain protects Sucker Punch Aromatherapy. Good, good, good. Mark of a peckish Pokemon? Lunchtime mark. Okay, interesting. Side. Okay. Let's see. And when you evolve, do you still learn moves? Sorry, but I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Alright, so when you evolve, you learn... Great Shadow Ball, 14 as you plot. 36 Giga Drain. 36 Giga Drain. Okay, so it looks like I get the same moves regardless of when I evolve it. It's just, you know, the evolved version will level up a little bit slower. But you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it leveling up just a little bit slower because I got a, I got a Sinistee. I got the Pokemon I wanted. I got Earl Grey. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy, 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 happy. Alright. Okay, 
Let's see. 